Now, Michael Kinsler here again with the e-commerce shopping carts tutorials and we've just come to this stage now where we've just set up our shopping cart. We know exactly where everything is, happy enough with our taxes, happy enough with the shipping methods, everything's all working and we need to start putting in categories before we start putting in the products. Now remember at this stage you should have all your products on Word document or Excel so you know exactly which way your categories are going in. So you click on the categories and as you can see this category is already there so we're going to you can edit a character a, a category anytime and basically it is fairly straightforward it's just a case of the name of the category the method description now if I click into it, web design here you'll see web design if I go web design say hosting let's see what happens there so we save that now we've just got web design there so there you have it web design let's check out the source code but there in the source code is a description web design hosting aha you ask yourself what can we do with that that's very very important so what you do is you minimize that down or clear it out so we go back into edit and this is where you add 25 words your meta description 25 words is quite good here and again you've got your down here you can put in a whole ton of stuff into your description um, and that's it so 25 words single word 25 words and then you've got web designs and you can go in and put in six keywords in here and say shopping you can add an image but I wouldn't bother and then just save so that's it and nothing will be changed here I've got no products in it I've got nothing in it so let's go in and add in a new one so I go back into insert so I'm gonna call this uh, shopping and I'm gonna call this store remember you can go 25 words here again in your description you can go some whole ton of words in there now I want to make this pairing category now what does that mean if I go into web design that means then it will actually come in on web design so you'll actually see this now keywords again you know what the story is SEO and all this kind of stuff so let's save that and we got web design shopping see the way here so we refresh the page and you won't see shopping unless I go home now you won't see it but once I click on web design <coughs> I've got shopping and I've got an image click on the shopping there are no products now this is quite handy <coughs> pardon me if you've got different colors of dresses or different makes or different shades of clothes or whatever you can add then different subcategories into the main category and this is important to set this up correctly because once you go to add the products you can just click on what you what categories you want to go on to and what categories you don't so I can have web design shopping web design store web design whatever I want and this is the same so basically you're getting two you're getting two hits 
and if we look at the site map you'll actually see it in the site map shopping PC desktop PC and Mac components are all split up and then you've got my account there and that's the site map so if you've got a lot of stuff that's in different items different colors you can put it into the categories and it's most important you get the setup right so in a bit of thought behind the categories now because if you have to go back in and change it means you have to go in and start changing stuff around and it's quite difficult to do so look at all your products see what you have put the categories in and the subcategories you have all your brands in you have all your information in and then we can start adding the products to your categories <coughs> pardon me so then that'd be that and you'd be all happy days basically then you just keep inserting new category you know we call it test um, and then you know the keywords whatever you want whatever description you want and um, if you don't want it none and then you want to put the sort order in we'll make it number six number four say and then we we'll save it refresh the home page and test is in there and then you'll see test in there number four and see the way they're all numbered there that's the sort order and if I want to move test up to number no, I want to move test down the very bottom I put it into number nine and say if I want to belong to uh, software save it and you'll see test disappear and go into software right in front of your eyes click on the software and there's test and that's basically about it it's very straightforward nothing major to it again if you want to insert an image you just click there image manager comes up pick your image happy days save it and then reef and then uh, go into web design refresh it And that's basically about it you're better off with no I mean yeah it's a case of building it up see if you look at desktops they have PC you see if you look at them how they're managed you'll see how it's actually done there you go and that's and that's basically about it okay so once you have your categories done then that's basically about you but I wouldn't bother with the images to be quite honest with you it's more text text and images can be on the actual products themselves not the categories so they look better people will actually look at the products they don't want to look at the image categories so that's a good not a good tip so basically if you look into this um, here alternative images again you've got alternative Im images there comes up in the light box feature and it's quite good that's what people will look at okay we'll move on then we'll add a product then and we'll take it from there thank you